the light of a laser, a fascinating phenomenon. Electromagnetic waves, intense, sharply focused, and sometimes destructive, a light of almost mythical power. For me, laser light is the most beautiful light in the world. But for a long time, Ursula Keller never dreamt that this light would become such an important part of her life and lead to such a great scientific career. With reading and writing, I just messed everything up. I kept getting it all wrong and my work got covered in red ink. But I was really good at mathematics. It really interested me and I enjoyed it. And even though I was a girl growing up in the middle of Switzerland, I was still able to pursue maths and physics. Ursula Keller's talent was recognised and encouraged. She convinced her father to let her study physics at ETH Zurich. Her successful graduation was followed by a scholarship at Stanford University in California. The young Swiss woman then landed in the most renowned research and development laboratory in the world at that time, AT&T Bell Laboratories in New Jersey, USA. When I got there and saw the lab, it was totally full of junk. So the first thing I had to do was clean it all up. But it didn't really bother me because I wanted to do my own research and get something of my own off the ground. Actually, I had complete freedom to go in any direction that interested me. On the one hand, it was a bit scary, but on the other, it was incredibly exciting. The lab table, where Ursula Keller spent four years researching, now stands in her institute in Zurich. After all, it's the table where she revolutionized laser physics for the first time. In principle, a laser functions like this. If you pump energy into a certain medium, a crystal for example, it releases that energy in the form of light. With the help of two mirrors, the light is reflected and repeatedly sent back through the crystal. This creates intense, extremely uniform laser light. Finally, one of the mirrors allows some of the light through. A continuous laser. Ever since the laser was discovered, people have wanted to transform materials with it. But a continuous laser heats up material too much and damages it. The solution? Pulsed laser light. But for a long time, the technology for that was far too complicated. The lasers were also unstable. This was the exact problem that Ursula Keller wanted to solve at the AT&T Bell Laboratories. And she succeeded by installing a small section of semiconductor into the system that had the same effect as a mirror. When laser beams are created, some peaks of higher energy are generated, and the semiconductor mirror responds to them in a particular way. The more energy the light contains, the better the mirror reflects it. These high energy peaks take precedence. They're sent back and forth between the mirrors and are amplified. When they reach a threshold, the system emits some of the laser light as a short pulse. Ursula Keller called this laser SESAM. SESAM is an acronym. It's a semiconductor, saturable absorber mirror. SESAM makes everything much more stable, shorter and better. And far easier too, of course. The entire iPhone wouldn't exist without these short pulse lasers. SESAM has made many things possible. The principle is used today in almost all areas of industry, in welding, in the cutting of materials, in optical communication, and in medical technology. SESAM is a scientific sensation. It was Ursula Keller's first big success. Just one year after inventing it, the young physicist was awarded a professorship back home in Zurich. 
At first, I thought it was a joke. During my entire time at ETH Zurich, I had never seen any female professors. Also, I was extremely young. I was only 33 years old. But the conversation got more serious, and in the end, they finally made me an offer I simply couldn't refuse. So I became the first woman to be awarded a professorship in the natural sciences. Keller and her team improved the SESAM technology even further. Then she decided to try to produce the shortest laser pulses in the world, using entirely new technology. The physicist was constantly pushing the limits of what was possible. Deeper research into laser technology finally gave Keller a completely new idea. A clock. No, not an elegant traditional Swiss timepiece, more of a monstrous measuring device, using laser light as the most accurate second hand in the world. Or rather, an atto second hand. The clock measures in billionths of a billionth of a second. Das Licht braucht Light needs about a second to reach the moon from Earth. But light only needs one attosecond to get from one atom to the next. In other words, we had entered the world of atoms, the world of quantum mechanics. And that's why attosecond time is also referred to as quantum mechanical time. The atto clock enables us to see inside worlds that were previously invisible. It helps us to understand the hidden secrets of life, so that they can one day be imitated by technology. In fact, the Atto clock could even be used to investigate our entire physical worldview. With these clocks, we're also hoping that, at some point, we'll be able to measure whether our natural constants really are constant after all. After her time at university, together with her husband, Ursula Keller ran a company of her own. They manufacture SESAM lasers for the computer and smartphone industries, hold several patents, and were recently acquired by an American company. The startup now has access to the global market. Another company is being planned with a new patented laser technology. Her lasers will make it possible to examine the skies far more precisely in the search for a second Earth. Ursula Keller. Where will light lead her next?